The first whiskey was made in 1494, roughly 515 years before the first Microsoft Azure service was made. However, this week they met for the first time. More on that later. This time on the show, Security Center is getting a pretty major overhaul, which will probably break your stuff. All right. Azure Virtual Machines reaches generation two with more terabytes and whiskey uh, and machine learning. You're watching Azure This Week, a production of cloud news that is shaken, not stirred. First, some potential breaking changes. From the 31st of July, 2019, a bunch of features will be retired from the Azure Security Center. These include <gasps> events dashboard, search menu entry, classic identity and access link, security events map button on security alerts map, custom alert rules, investigate button in threat protection security alerts, a subset of security solutions, edit security configurations for security policies, and finally, security and audit dashboard for log analytics workspaces. These features aren't all disappearing completely though. A bunch will be implemented in Azure Log Analytics and some in Azure Sentinel. A few will even be redone in Azure Security Center in other ways. It does mean that if you are using Azure Security Center, you might be impacted and possibly have to start investing and migrating to Azure Sentinel. I will keep an eye on those changes too and let you know if anything changes further. Now, I hope Sam Serverless Cronenberg isn't watching, but the new Gen 2 VMs were announced this week in preview. And as much as we love serverless at a Cloud Guru, let's be honest and admit, it just runs on someone else's server, right? Gen 2 VMs on Azure have more, more disk space, more security and more generation. First off, you can only create data center version 2019, 2016, 2012, R2 and 2012. The new images support OS disks bigger than two terabyte and data disks bigger than 12 terabyte. They also support UEFI boot and SCSI disk controllers. Some features such as secure boot and VHDX format is only supported on-prem and not in Azure, but that should change fast. Safe to say though, you don't want to use these new Gen 2 VM images in production. Is that Sam coming? All right, enough about VMs. Now, every other episode of this show, it seems, I mentioned machine learning and artificial intelligence. This technology of training machines to build our evil up to, I mean, to rescue the bees and humanity is the top trending technology of 2019. And now, AI has made us the first Whiskey 2 using Azure Cloud Whiskey. Tech giant Microsoft has teamed up with a 20 year old Swedish distillery called Magmira. Sorry, Swedish people to create the world's first whiskey developed with artificial intelligence. According to the distillery's own words, currently the distillery's machine learning models powered by Azure Cloud Platform and AI Cognitive Services are fed with MacMira's existing recipes, including those for award-winning blends, sales data, and customer preferences. And with this data set, the AI can generate more than 70 million recipes that it predicts will be popular. So what will the next thing be that AI delivers? Fashion choices for the style challenged? How to cook the perfect barbecue brisket? How to host this show? Oh wait. No more cloud for you this week. Or well, at least not for me. I am madly finishing my AZ-103 certification course of which there's currently a preview out. So check that one out. So with love of AI generated poems and sweet cloud dreams, I say goodbye. See you next week and keep being awesome cloud gurus.